Today, I'm gonna to show you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old iPad over to your new iPad. Now, I'll be transferring from my old iPad Pro M2 to my new iPad Pro M4, but the same process will apply to all iPad models, including the regular iPad 10s or iPad Airs, uh, including older models as well. Now, this process is gonna be carrying over everything from your apps, your music, your photos, messages, uh, even things like your wallpaper and your settings. And this process is gonna save you a lot of time from having to set up and transfer everything manually and reset up everything uh, on your new iPad as this is essentially going to mirror your old iPad onto the new iPad. And then at the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you how to effectively erase your old iPad so that you can then safely sell it on or uh, give it to someone without risking sharing any of your data. So without further ado, let's get started. Great, so before we get started, there are a few things you're gonna to want to do before we start the transfer process. This is what I like to call the pre-transfer checklist. And the first thing we're gonna do is plug both tablets into power. Now this process can take some time. Uh, it can take in fact several hours depending on how much data you are transferring. And the last thing you want is for either tablet uh, to run out of battery and disrupt the process midway through. Particularly the new iPad as these don't always come fully charged like mine here. Uh, so it's good to have it on power to make sure you don't run that risk. Now, secondly, we're gonna move over to the old iPad and make sure that a few things here are set up as they should. And the first thing you're gonna do is swipe down to access your control center here on the top right and make sure that your Wi-Fi as well as your Bluetooth are both on as this is what's gonna be needed for your old iPad to locate your new iPad. Next, we're gonna go uh, open up settings here and then we're gonna tap on general and tap on software update and see if your iPad has any software update to do, in which case you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do this or complete that update before we get started. It is always good to have your old iPad running the latest version of iPadOS that it supports. Now, I've had some questions in the past. For example, what if my old iPad doesn't support the uh, latest current version of iPadOS? In most cases, that should be fine and this process should still work, but you still want your old iPad to be on whatever latest version of iPadOS that it supports. And if it's not, what you're gonna find is that there's an available update to do here in settings, in which case you're gonna want to do that before we move on. Great, so now that everything is ready for the transfer process, we can go ahead and get started. Now, let's move over onto the new tablet here, uh, the new iPad, and you should have this wonderful Hello screen. Now, if you don't have this screen, or if you've already started the setup process uh, on, the old, on the new iPad and realize later that you wanna transfer things over, don't worry, what you wanna do is over on your new iPad, go into the settings, go under general, and then scroll all the way down to where you, uh, to where you find transfer or reset iPad, and then tap on erase all content and settings. And that's then essentially going to erase the new iPad and bring you back to the start of the setup process to this hello screen here, uh, which is where we need to go to start the transfer process. Great, so now that we've set this up, uh, we are ready to go here. So over on the new iPad, what you're gonna want to do is swipe up, and that's then gonna bring you over to select the language. And in theory, what should happen here is over on your old iPad, you should get a pop-up that will prompt you to to set up this new iPad. Now, in this case, as you can see, it didn't actually show up on my iPad. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, I'm still gonna give you some tips, though, for if it doesn't show up, as it doesn't always show up. It usually does, uh, like in my case, but not always. Or sometimes it likes to keep you waiting a bit, uh, like it just did for me. Now, in case you don't see this update or this pop-up, what you wanna do is restart both iPads. And to do this, uh, you wanna press and hold the sleep-wake button at the top, as well as the volume up button on both tablets, swipe, and then you can turn them off, restart them, and that should then cause this prompt to to show up. But what if still this pop-up doesn't show? Well, there's a small chance you may need to do a software update over on your new iPad. And to do this, you're gonna just start the setup process. So type in your language uh, and then select and connect it to your Wi-Fi, at which point you'll be prompted to do an update. Do the update, it will then bring you back to the hello screen where we started first, and that then should ensure this uh, pop-up will show. Now, it can be a bit finicky, as you just saw with me as well. I have to wait a little bit for it to show, but often after these checks that I just mentioned, uh, it will always show. So uh, with all those checks out the way, once you have the setup new iPad screen, we're gonna tap on continue, then use Face ID to authenticate, and then now we're going to find the new iPad. So we get this uh, interesting little glowing animation and we're gonna pick up the old iPad and then using the rear camera, you're gonna to want to put that into the circle there we go. And it will then locate the new iPad and make sure that it is paired with the correct iPad so that your files are sent to where they need to go. Great. So now we're prompted to continue over on the old iPad. Now here you have the option to set up for yourself as well as to create a child account. Now creating a child account is a good way to have uh, more restrictions under the account. So great for a child if you want to limit certain apps or websites or anything like that. Uh, but in this case, I'm setting it up for myself. So we'll go ahead and click set up for me. And then over on the new iPad, you want to type in the passcode of your old iPad. So this is the passcode you use to unlock your iPad uh, if, say, Face ID is not working. 
And there we go. And then it's going to be setting up the iPad like so. And now it is currently activating the iPad. So it's going to be contacting Apple service here and activate this iPad under your name, as well as activating things like the warranty. All right, and then as we start the setup process here on the new iPad, we have the option to read more about Apple's data and privacy policy. Just go ahead and tap OK. Uh, give that a second to load. And here we are with Face ID. So let's go ahead and set that up here. So we're going to go ahead and tap continue. And then you're going to rotate the iPad into landscape mode, depending on which model you have. Now I have one of the newer ones here. So you'll see that the camera is uh, or the newest model, which will actually have the camera in the horizontal uh, position here. Go ahead and tap get started. And there we go. Hello, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is put my face in the frame here. There we go. And just go around. You only need to scan it once. Uh, very similar to setting up Face ID. You've probably done this on your phone as well. So we'll go ahead and tap continue here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one more time. And there we go. Two scans. All right. So scan uh, Face ID is now completed. And we'll go ahead and tap continue here. Now, this is where we have the important transfer option. Now, here you have the option to transfer directly from the iPad to the old iPad to the new iPad. And this is the transfer method that I recommend most if you have the other uh, tablet with you and next to you. On the off chance that say you do have a backup of your old iPad, but you no longer have it, say it is, uh, I don't know, damaged or you already gave it away to someone or something, uh, you do have the option to tap on other options where you can actually restore from an iCloud backup. But again, if you have both iPads in front of you, I suggest you just transfer directly from one iPad to the other. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to tap continue here. Oh, another thing you want to make sure is that the name here, you can see mine is iPad Pro 4 11 inch, uh, like that acronym there or abbreviation. Uh, you want to make sure that the name is uh, that you recognize that name to make sure that's actually transferring from your old iPad and not from some other iPad as well. So once you've identified the name, tap on continue. And there we go. It's going to be signing into your Apple ID. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, this is already going to start carrying over things like your contacts, your calendar, your music, uh, your wallet, all these things that are associated specifically with your Apple ID. So this here shouldn't take very long, maybe a minute or two. Uh, just let it do its thing and transfer things over. Great. So here we go. Now we have the option to make this your new iPad. So essentially, it's going to be transferring everything over to this new iPad. Uh, and here you do have the option to select what exactly you want to transfer over. In this case, it's going to transfer over everything, including your apps, your data, even your settings, as well as your wallet. You do have the option to customize this. Now, uh, again, if you want to leave out certain things, but in my opinion, or in what I'm going to do here, is just transfer over everything. So we'll go ahead and tap continue. Uh, here we have look location services, you can go in and turn that on or off. Now, for some applications, for example, maps, you're going to want to make sure that you have this on as it will be required. So we'll turn this on here. And now it's giving me the option to enter the card details for the cards that I have associated with my Apple wallet. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do that later. And then we're asked whether we want to share your iPad analytics with Apple or not. Personally, I prefer to tap don't share, but this really is up to you. And here we go. Great. So now we're actually starting the transfer process. Now it's going to be transferring all the hard data, right? Things like your photos, your music, uh, your, your movies, all that. And this can take a little while. Now, of course, this will be done over Wi-Fi. So there's many factors involved, uh, including your Wi-Fi speeds, as well as how much data you're transferring over. Now, in this case, I have around 120 gigabytes or so. I have gigabit ether uh, in internet. So it should be relatively fast. I don't see an estimate just yet, uh, but I'll definitely let you know how long this takes by the time we're done. You can see only four minutes here. So uh, usually underestimates a little bit. See, it's already gone up to seven, but just let the two iPads chill, keep them close together. And again, keep them connected to power and just let them transfer as things go. While we wait for things to transfer, I also want to touch on what to do if things appear to be stuck, as that can happen sometimes, uh, but 9 out of 10 times, it corrects itself. So really, just be patient. Uh, you can see my 4-minute estimate went up to 25 minutes, so the estimates are all over the place, so it can go uh, it can go a lot faster, a lot slower. Your internet speed, for example, that's not con consistent either, right? That fluctuates. Uh, so a lot of factors involved. If you are ever under the impression that the bar is stuck, uh, my advice is just leave it. 9 out of 10 times, it fixes itself. It can take several hours this process so just be ready for that uh, and worst case scenario if, if it really appears to be stuck say even after a 24-hour period what you can always do is over on your new ipad cancel the process and then re um, and then delete or erase the ipad as i showed earlier at the start of this video because as long as the data is still on your old ipad you won't have lost any data it's just a matter of restarting the process but again this shouldn't be necessary only in very rare instances
And welcome back. So the transfer process has just completed. I just got the pop up here over on the old iPad. And uh, let's take a look and see how long that took. So as you can see, that took just about nine minutes. Uh, now, again, your mileage will definitely vary. Uh, but in my case here, that went relatively quickly. I'd say I had around 120 gigabytes. This one was quite full. Uh, and I do have gigabit Ethernet, so around 1000 megabytes uh, upload and download. So fast Wi Fi, uh, but large transfer size still only took around nine minutes or so. So what we can see here over on the old iPad, we have transfer complete. The uh, data has been successfully transferred. And if we go over to the new iPad, tap to wake it here, you'll see that we have the exact same wallpaper, my beautiful dog here uh, over on the new iPad, just as we had on the old one. You'll see that my, uh, my customized clock, my widgets, as well as even my reminders are already showing. We can go ahead and unlock that here use face ID and there we go. So you see all the widgets are there. You can see some of the apps are still downloading over in the background. Don't worry about that. Just let it do its thing. Uh, but all the major things have already transferred over. Now going back over to the old iPad, we'll go ahead and tap on continue here. And here we have the option to erase this iPad. Now we're going to go back to this in just a second. So in this case here, we're going to tap not now as I just want to confirm or show you that these two are in fact identical. You'll see the same app arrangements, uh, the same widgets, even the control centers are going to be identical. Uh, we go into settings here, everything will look the same as well. Uh, and you literally get everything transferred over from your old iPad, again, over to your new iPad, essentially mirroring the two. Now, once all the applications have downloaded in the background over on your new iPad, you can see I've got all my apps installed now. I do recommend you go through your new iPad and just test a couple things. Make sure everything is running, whether that be your logins, uh, your games, your messages, email, etc. Make sure everything is running over on the new iPad. And once you've confirmed that, what we can do is go ahead and erase the old iPad. As chances are, you're going to want to give this away, perhaps to a family member, friend, or even sell it. Uh, and you don't want your personal data to be shared. So how do we erase the old iPad? Well, to do this, we're going to go into settings and then we're going to scroll down to where we find general. And then here we have at the bottom of the page, transfer or reset iPad. So we'll go ahead and tap that here. And then we have the option to erase all content and settings. And this pop up here, new device added to your account. That is just confirming with your Apple ID that the new iPad has been added. So we can go ahead and just tap continue on that. And then we'll tap on erase all content and settings. And here it's going to show you the overview, erases iPad, so all the data, all the Find My your wallet, etc. And we'll go ahead and tap on continue. And then we'll tap on erase iPad. And that's then going to go through the process. Shouldn't take very long, just a couple minutes or so. And that's eventually then going to bring you over to the hello screen, much like where we started over on the new iPad, at which point you can safely sell this or give this to someone else, knowing that your data is secure. Now, in this case, I'm going to leave this running for now, as I'm actually going to use this as a second iPad. Uh, I've also had questions about whether you can actually keep your data on your old one and sort of use both and the answer is yes now of course it's going to have one ipad as your primary ipad which in this case will be the newer one but you can still use your second one say for i don't know streaming netflix or watching youtube right things like this uh, so in that case there may be a case uh, to be made for keeping the data on your old ipad but in most cases it's just easiest to erase and well, there you have it. That's how you transfer all your data and settings and everything over from your old iPad over to your new iPad, essentially mirroring the two exactly as you can see here. Uh, and also how you can then safely erase your old iPad to then pass it on or sell it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching and take care.